Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 22. Fraction equivalence, ordering and operations. Topic E, extending fraction equivalence to fractions greater than 1. Okay, we're going to answer these in mixed units. So if we said 2 meters plus 5 centimeters, the answer would be 2 meters, 5 centimeters. If we said 2 hours plus 5 minutes, that would be 2 hours, 5 minutes. If we said 2 ones plus 5 eighths, we would say 2 and 5 eighths. Okay, so let's take a look at this addition problem. 2 plus 1 half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show this on a tape diagram. So I'm going to begin by showing that I have 2 with my first add-in, 2. This is showing that I have two holes. Now, so that we know how large to draw our 1 half piece, let's partition each hole into two halves like so. Now I know that half would be about that size, so I have half. This would represent half. So if I wanted one tape diagram that showed this, it would look like this. Now this went from being 2 plus 1 half is equal to 2 and a half. Now let's try one with subtraction. I have three holes and I want to subtract one fourth. Well my tape diagram is showing that I have three holes. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to take this portion of my tape diagram, this one hole, and separate it into four parts. Partition it into four equal parts. Now each part is showing one-fourth. And I have four of them and that makes this a whole piece. So if I take this last one-fourth piece and I subtract it, then my answer to three minus one-fourth would be one hole, two holes, and one, two, three fourths. So it'd be two and three fourths. Let's try three minus two thirds. Well, I'm going to begin the same way. I'm going to draw a tape diagram that shows that I have three holes. I'm going to take my last hole and I'm going to partition it into three parts. So this piece is showing one-third. And this piece is showing one-third. And this piece is showing one-third. So now I need to subtract two-thirds. So I will subtract two pieces. So that would leave me with one, two, and one third. So three minus two thirds is equal to two and one third. But what if the number were a really big number? Instead of three, what if it were 391 minus two thirds? Well, really, it's not all that different than what we did here. We take our 391, and we can think of it as being 390 plus 1, because that's the same as 391. And then we take that last portion, we separate it into three parts, we subtract two of them, it would leave us with 390 and 1 third. So 391 minus 2 thirds would equal 390 
and one third. So, if we're given three different numbers, four, four and four fifths, and four fifths, can we make addition and subtraction fact families? Oh well, yeah, I can see that if I add four plus four fifths, I would get four and four fifths. Also, if I added four fifths plus four, I would get four and four fifths. You can also work with subtraction. If I start with four and four fifths and subtract four fifths, I get four. And if I start with four and four fifths and I subtract four, I would get four fifths. So let's subtract one fourth from five holes. And let's do this by decomposing using a number bond. So I know I'm starting with five, so I'm going to put five in my number bond. Now I'm going to break 5 apart, and I'm going to break it into 4 and 1. Now I can rename this 1, and I can rename that 1 in fraction form. Well, since I'm subtracting 1 fourth, why don't I name this 1 4 fourths? So I'm going to trade out that 1 like that. I still have five because I have four holes and I have one hole that's separated into four parts and I have all four of them. Now I can subtract one fourth from four fourths. So instead of having four fourths, I won't have that anymore. I will have three fourths. So five minus one fourth is four and three fourths. And that'll take care of things for Lesson 22, where we've been working to add fractions less than 1 to or subtract fractions less than 1 from a whole number using decomposition and visual models.